Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Leprechaun series. <clears throat> so, Warwick Davis um, portrayed the original Leprechaun for, what is it, six movies? Because there was Leprechaun, then there was Leprechaun 2, Leprechaun in Vegas, Leprechaun in Space, Leprechaun in the Hood, and Leprechaun Back to the Hood. So, he did the first six of them. His portrayal as Leprechaun was obvious genius, and there's no one that's going to up him on, 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 on that role. <clears throat> Uh, he did such an, an amazing uh, portrayal, and he really did an excellent job with balancing humor and horror. Um, <clears throat> and he was a psycho little leprechaun. <sighs> so, that being said, um, the first three were obviously way better than the last three of the original Leprechaun series of, of the ones that starred Warwick Davis and um, you know it just got silly after the third one uh, so the first one was really good it was Jennifer Aniston's first starring role you know and everything like that of course she is too big and too good for Leprechaun now but um, Yeah. So, my favorite of Warwick Davis's Leprechaun is um, the third one, where he goes to Vegas. Leprechaun in Vegas. And it is so... I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, because I think that the third one was the first direct-to-DVD of the franchise and everything. Um, but it was just done extremely well, um, and I loved it. It was very entertaining. Um, and then it just got silly with Leprechaun in Space, and then, um, and then the, the two and the Hood ones, which were really silly, just silly movies. <clears throat> and then the studio made, um the one with the with the midget wrestler there I forgot what his name is already um so they did an offshoot and they tried to reboot the franchise which was silly they should just wait until Warwick Davis wanted to come back but whatever it is what it is they already made the movie <clears throat> so they did a reboot so, my opinion on, on that is the cinematography is really good. Whoever directed it did a really good uh, visual piece of it. Um, and it, it, it did capture the essence of the horror vibe, but it was a creature feature. That's how I would... Uh, that's how I would label it as a creature feature. It's not a leprechaun movie. The little gremlin looking thing or whatever it was didn't look at all like a leprechaun. Um, or at least the original leprechaun that we grew up to with Warwick Davis's. Um, they made it more of a creature feature. The leprechaun didn't even talk. It was just a beastly monster thing that just killed people when it had gold. There was no humor, no, nothing like that. Um, Cinematography-wise, it was visually good. Um, and it did. It was more of a straight-up horror movie than it was a horror comedy, which is what the leprechauns were. Um... <clears throat> It, it just, and it's really silly because they even named the Leprechaun Lubden, which is the original Leprechaun, Warwick Davis's Leprechaun, which is silly because they're obviously two different creatures altogether. Um, 
I mean, I guess they're Leprechaun, but I, I don't know where they were going with that, because obviously they were two different types of Leprechaun, if you want to classify this one as the Leprechaun. So, the seventh movie was, it was good, um... I don't think that it deserved the negative responses that it got, especially in comparison to the last three Warwick Davis ones where they were just silly. Um, the only thing that was better than the actual movie for this one compared to the last three is Warwick Davis's Leprechaun, and he, his performance alone is worth, is worth the movies. Um... <clears throat> Because he is such an amazing actor. He is very detailed, very... He puts his own little things in and everything, and he really just brings the Leprechaun to life. Um, so, I do think that the seventh one is better than the space one and the two and the hood ones. Um, aside from Warwick Davis's portrayal in those ones. <clears throat> Uh, but the seventh one is definitely more of a creature feature than it was a, a traditional Leprechaun movie. Now, they rebooted again, which it isn't really a reboot because, um, they went back to their old style, which they should, because they went from creature feature back to an, a traditional Leprechaun movie. Um, Warwick Davis did not come back. Um, I read somewhere where he was um, making more uh, family-friendly films until his children grow up, which is, which is you know, understandable and respectful and everything. Um, so, that being said, uh, the eighth movie that just came out, The Leprechaun Returns, is a direct sequel to the very first original Leprechaun, the one that Jennifer Aniston starred in. <clears throat> so there are so many pros and cons to Leprechaun Returns. Um, first of all, the makeup job for the Leprechaun that they did, especially being for as low budget as it was, they did an excellent job with the makeup. Um, and the death scenes were extremely creative. Um, and some of the humor was really, uh, was really, um, spot on. Uh, but there are so many pros and cons. It was as good as it was bad. And it was bad as it was good. Um, <clears throat> I'd say this is about a 50-50 movie, um, it was not as silly as the Leprechaun in Space and the two Back in the Hood ones or whatever, um, but, so the actor, this is the third actor, because they switched again actors from the Creature Feature one, and... I forgot what this actor's name is, too, um, sadly, but, um, like, his humor was really good, but his laugh was cute and not obnoxious like Warwick Davis's, because Warwick Davis really put power into everything that he did, including his laugh, and it was really menacing and everything. But this one was really cute when he, 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 like, kind of thing, instead of, like, laughing over the thrill of the kill or whatever, so it wasn't as psycho. Um, but that being said, um, this actor did have his moments where he was a straight-up creeper, where he went from he, he, he to, like, staring at you with, like a, a, like, a deadly glare thing, and it was really, really unnerving. Um... <clears throat> so, it was kind of a mixture between good and bad, like, the he he he, it, it wasn't terrible, but it was not the Leprechaun. The Leprechaun is loud, obnoxious, he, he is so menacing and everything, and this one is like, I don't want to say cute because he's physically not cute, and he's not cute literally, um, 
but the laugh, he should have went more overboard with the laugh. More obnoxious than Q. Um, more menacing than Q. Uh, but uh, I did love how The Leprechaun Returns is a direct, a straight up direct sequel to the original one. It takes place like, like 20 years or something after the original one. <clears throat> And, of course, Jennifer Aniston didn't come back to this one, um, but the actor that played for Ozzy did. And I think that it's really cool because they had an original actor from the original movie come back, and they progressed the story in an intelligent way by making it because, of course, Jennifer Aniston isn't going to come back, so they, you know wrote in her story as, um, obviously no one was going to believe that she saw a leprechaun, but she kept warning people about the leprechaun and going on and on about the leprechaun. Like, so she turned into a crazy lady who wasn't actually crazy, and she ended up getting cancer and passing away. But between the original leprechaun movie and between, between that and her going kind of crazy, um, she ended up having a daughter, and that character was in this movie. So, it really did progress onto the story of the original first one, which I really, really do love, um, progressive stories. <clears throat> and I think that it was, uh, well executed. The girl was a good actress. Um, the writers wrote in some dumb things, but that's a story for a different day. Um, it was not the actress's fault. The actress was good. Um, obviously, Ozzy was good. Um, the characters that survived um, were the better ones, and the ones that, you know, um, died. Like, there's character when you watch movies and shows and stuff. There's characters that you that you need to see live or would love to see live, and then there's characters where you're just like, can they just like kill them off already? Well, this movie does well with executing that. The characters that should have lived did live. The characters that should have died did die. Um, so they did really good with um, with balancing that. Uh, like I said, the deaths were creative, the story was progressive, so all in all, I, I do think, um, I do think that it was, uh, better than, if we remove the creature feature, I do believe that, so, going from Worst to best, I would say, um, In the Hood was the worst, Back to the Hood was the second worst, Leprechaun in Space was the third worst, then I would put, um, the creature feature, uh, lucky number seven, and then Leprechaun Returns, and then Leprechaun 2, the original second one, the one that had no continuation of the first one, um, and then the first one that starred Jennifer Aniston, and then Leprechaun in Vegas. So that's how I do it from from worst to best. Um, there was just something about Vegas, the Vegas one that was entertaining to me and um, outshine outshine the rest of them. So I think that everybody was on their A game. I think that it was very very nicely done, very nicely executed. It had everything from horror to comedy to action to Romance, I mean, there, there was something in uh, the Vegas one for everybody, so, um, but anyway, 
Uh, so the fir the first original three, and then the Leprechaun Returns would be my top four, and then the Creature Feature, and then the Space, and then the two Hood ones. Actually. Yeah, no, I keep that order. <clears throat> um, because even though Leprechaun in space is absolutely terrible, it did have, um, it was very entertaining. So, it was more entertaining than the, in the hood one. The back to the hood one was better than in the first one, but, or the first in the hood one, but I didn't like any of them those ones. Uh, I don't think that they were good. I don't think the Leprechaun in Space is good. It's just all silly. I don't know what they were thinking from the first three, the first original three, to the last original three. Or Davis's Leprechaun. But anyway, um, so this one actually does leave the door open for another one. So that would be interesting to see. Um, where the story goes from here. Um, hopefully they can look back and approve upon because there's they did have their moments where it was really good in Leprechaun Returns but they can definitely learn from what didn't work and do better and improve with the next one if they make a next one which they should because they left it wide open and this one was an entertaining movie so um and it was not ridiculous like the leprechaun in space in the backs of the hood one so if they could continue on with those they should be able to continue on with this one um so there's my review on the leprechaun movies um definitely Definitely a, a good horror, com uh, comedy horror franchise. Um, you know, there's when it hits, it hits, and when it misses, it misses. But you know, it, regardless, regardless of how good it can be and how terrible it can be, it's entertaining nonetheless. So, um, yeah, it's worth the worth the watch anyway. So. Um, if you like my review guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you, um, like this video and comment below and let me know what you think and, and, um, uh, like the order that you would have if, um, you know, from worst to best or best from to worst or, um, what you would change and what you would keep and where you want the story to go from here if you've seen the newest Leprechaun movie, so... Okay, guys, until next time, have a great day.